Hello everyone, so I know that it's been a little while since we got our videos up, so I just wanted to go ahead and make sure when I actually had time today to make sure I got another one out for you guys. So another problem that we see very commonly on Fluff Love that we help with every single day is leaks. So I want to go over the common causes and maybe after I go over these, if you're having leaking, you can kind of figure out which problem you're having and make, be able to fix it yourself. So the common causes, the first one is compression. So what happens when you compress a fabric that has liquid in it, just as you would wring out a washcloth that has water, is the liquid comes out. So the common causes of the compression are tight diapers, um, there's tight pants, and a tight onesie. So in order to help avoid that, you want to try and go up a size for the pants and up a size for the onesies because those are the most common issues. Also leggings, using leggings is a very easy fix to the common pants problem. And then the next problem, the next cause, is not enough absorbency. So a lot of people end up having heavy wetters. That's what we like to call them anyway. And microfiber inserts might not be enough by themselves to help avoid the leaking and to be absorbent enough to even go two hours. So you can either double up on inserts, you can choose a different insert like bamboo, CBI, hemp, so on and so forth. And then go from there. So next is repelling. So repelling can be caused by a couple different things. First is petroleum-based creams. If you're using diaper cream and it's petroleum-based, that will cause repelling. So what you want to do is either switch the cream that you use to a non-petroleum-based, or even coconut oil works for a lot of moms. Or you can use a liner if you still want to use your cream, because I sometimes do that as well. So the different types of liner, if you need to stay more natural because of baby sensitivities, there's always soap as an option. Next, you can use a fleece liner that you may have prepared yourself or bought, or you can use the liners that you can get at your cloth diaper store or even online. And then you can also use paper towels. Soft paper towels are the best, that way it's not scratchy or anything against the skin. And we usually recommend Viva because those are the softest ones that we found that works really well for helping line the diaper for the cream. Next is mineral buildup for repelling issues. Mineral buildup happens when you have hard water and most people don't actually test their water so I recommend testing your water before you really start out. And hard water Minerals deposit on the diapers for hard water, and if you don't have a water softener, it can cause a lot of issues, and it can lead to ammonia or stink or so on and so forth. A lot of problems can ensue from that. So what you want to do is you want to test your water. If you already have hard water mineral buildup, you're going to want to do a strip, and those the stripping instructions are outlined on our site, so you can find those quite easy. Um, and there's also post-strip. Some moms have a lot of buildup, so what they need to do post-strip is wash more than just a few times. And make sure you're adding the borax, calgan, or washing soda as a water softener. And then the next one is homemade soap buildup. That builds up quite a bit, and I know there's a lot of moms out there that really go by homemade, and it saves a lot of money, and I realize that but it's not good for your diapers. What happens is because people use ivory soap, cells, Napa, they're not designed to rinse away clean. They're not designed to rinse away without buildup. So what happens is the film builds up on the surface of the diapers, which causes repelling, which can lead to stink, ammonia, a ton of different issues, and we just want to make you aware of that. Next is using CD Save for All. All has actually changed their formula for their detergent and it actually 
includes a coconut based softener so that will actually build up on the diapers as well and CD Safe doesn't clean well enough, especially in the amount that they recommend and hard water mineral deposits still deposit on the diapers and aren't rinsed away so you want to be careful of that so make sure you test your water and make sure whether or not you have hard or soft water and if you have hard make sure you add a softener to the water for your diapers next is your fit that can cause leaking if it's too tight or too loose so if it's too loose and you see leg gaps you're going to want to go in a little bit more and I know this is a common thing for newborns because their legs are so tiny and that's okay so leg gaps are a big thing and then if you have a huge belly gap it's okay for a small gap but make sure that it's not too big um, and make sure that when you put the diaper on the leg elastics go straight into the groin crease just like you would put on your own underwear you want it straight in there so it's nice and comfy next is for the moms of boys like myself make sure you face the little guy downward so if it's pointing up you're more likely to get leaks if it's pointing towards the side towards the leg you're more likely to get leaks because that's where the flow is going so make sure you point them straight down and that way it goes straight into the diaper and it can more likely get absorbed without leaks and those are the common problems and I hope this helps thanks for watching